what is your natural hair bestie nia imani here back with another video and today i want to show you all how i did this 36 inch bust down middle part ponytail from the beauty supply store for my birthday um if you haven't definitely be sure to check out my birthday maintenance vlog because this was supposed to be a half up half down or like a Barbie ponytail, but Shadi said, let me just do the little middle part because that's what I know how to do. So this is my first time doing something like this, like the quick weave method. So it's not perfect, but I did want to show you all how I got this style. So before this video, I actually shampooed, deep conditioned, and blew my hair out. And now I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to flat iron my hair on a, a very low heat. I just don't, I want my hair to be a little bit more silky and straight so that the ponytail can have a very um, straight appearance. So I'm not going in with a lot of heat, but I am going in in, in small to medium sections just to ensure that my hair is somewhat straight. It doesn't have to be straight as possible, but this also does depend on your hair texture. If your hair is a little bit more coarse, you may use a little bit more heat. But for me in this instance, I would, I did not have to use a very high heat on the flat iron. Yes, I know I'm giving very much Andre 3000. Hey, y'all. But we are just going to, now my hair is straight. I'm going to just kind of figure out where I want my part. And I just want it straight down the middle. And y'all see the inches. Y'all see the growth. Y'all get into it. Get into it. And now in this clip, I'm also just starting from my nose to straighten up my middle part. Because it needs to be in the middle of my head. That's what I want. That's what I desire. And it's working for me. So now I'm just going to go and I'm starting to section off my hair. We are going to begin to start the ponytail in the back. As I mentioned, this is my first time doing this ponytail. My parts are not perfect. My hair is not going to be perfect, but it is perfect for me. If you are a little bit more anal, you know, make sure you have double mirrors and things like that to ensure that your parts are super straight. But in this instance, I'm just doing what make, works best for me. So I'm going to actually begin to start in the back of my head um, with about, I think that's about, that's a, a, a small to medium um, chunk of hair. And pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going in with a little bit of bed head, hard head spray and I'm spraying it at the roots and I'm kind of combing it through and I'm going in with the blow dryer. Okay, this is what I saw the girls on YouTube do. They use got to bleed. They use got to be glued typically, but that bed head, hard head, when I tell you that's the truth right there, my ponytail was, with, was able to withstand humidity, steamy showers, everything. And my head wasn't super, super hard, but that shit was definitely firm. So you, I am kind of going in and fanning the blow dryer, but y'all will see in some other clips, I'm going to start to smooth the blow dryer down the hair shaft. That's what you want to do opposed to fanning the hair, but both methods work. But essentially what the blow dryer is doing is activating the, um, the spray and heart causing it to harden as it dries. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going in section by section, spraying the bed head spray on my hair kind of combing it through and then going in with the blow dryer to dry and kind of activate the hardness and pretty much get my ponytail to um you know to to shift into the back of my head so just watch me do that and go in by section by section All right, so as we move a little bit closer to the front section, I am going to start to move in smaller sections, but I'm still using that same method, spraying at the roots and then smoothing down with the blow dryer.
again in the top section I'm just going and I'm spraying at the root but then I'm also spraying down the shaft of my hair so that those pieces that are a little bit shorter than the pieces that are in the back can also lay seamlessly into the ponytail and you will see me like as I'm like working through each section I'll actually take the hair out of the ponytail and then put all of the hair together so you just have to work piece by piece section by section it made this in total I think like from wash to the complete style probably took about three to four hours so just take your time when you're doing this style it can save you a lot of money if you learn how to do it yourself and I promise you with practice you would definitely be able to like perfect this style All right, and in this clip, you can just see that I've taken the ponytail out completely, and now I'm just starting to form the ponytail all together. There were some pieces that were still a little um, straight and not hard, so I'm just adding additional spray and blow drying just so that it can be firm. It might look a little white and cakey in the back, but I promise y'all it goes away like after you dry it just a little bit more. So I didn't have like residue on my hair at all. Um, and I did I didn't show in that previous clip but I did touch it up because I know y'all could see like a little bit on the right side the ponytail was like separating a bit I did go in and um, like firm that up so that it can lay completely flat so now I'm just taking a little bit of this wrapping paper and just kind of making sure that my um, hair stays straight as before I actually get into doing the ponytail so what I'm doing is taking the pieces of the back of my hair and I'm just braiding it or plaiting it. If your hair is short, you can add additional hair so that you can make the ponytail a little bit thicker. But in this instance, that, in this instance, that wasn't necessarily necessary. And then I just put some um, rubber bands on the end. And then I know y'all see that little piece that's kind of like shorter and it's hanging out. I'm going to put a rubber band in the middle section and then around that section just so that everything can lay flat. All right, so here's the fun part. I'm taking that same paper that I used to wrap around my head to keep flat, and I'm wrapping that in around the entire ponytail. So to start it off, I just start wrapping from the back and then wrap on top of it. I just wrap the paper on top of itself so that it can stay. And then towards the end, I'm going to put a um, little, you know, scrunchy or rubber band just to keep it in place um if in the event that some of your paper tears while you're doing this just add more paper this paper right here is going to ensure that once i start to add the glue to the hair it's not gonna um, bleed through to my natural hair and it didn't when i took this ponytail out there was absolutely no um track glue on my hair so right now i'm just going in with a little bit of glue on the tracks that i will be using and i am going to um, begin to start at the end of the ponytail and wrap the hair upward um, it is essential that you are going to be wrapping that tracks in the same direction each time and you want to make sure that as you wrap around you're going to go in with the blow dryer just to set it in motion i did notice that it was easier for me to actually put the track glue on the ponytail opposed to on the tracks directly so i just go in piece by piece um and i'm going to just like wrap around the track so i think i probably put the glue up maybe about an inch wrap and then dry so that's basically what you're going to do until you get to the top and as far as hair that i'm using i'm using three bundles of organiques um body wave i believe and they were about 12 dollars 60 a piece at the beauty supply store but everybody's beauty supply store is relatively different but i felt like this was pretty inexpensive especially for the look that it gave and yeah
All right, so once we are done with the ponytail, you see, or you see it strikes. <laughs> so we have to do something about that so that we can, um, you know, make it look like a, a seamless ponytail. So what you're gonna do is take a piece of um, the hair. I like to kind of start from the back, detangle it nice and good. And it could be a, a smaller section, but I'm using a pretty big section just because I can tell like, I don't know, that knot just needs to be a little bit bigger because it needs to cover the tracks and the ponytail. So pretty much take the hair, detangle it, spray a little bit of bed head. Um, I would recommend drying and spray a little bit more bed head as you go because I did have to fix this a little bit more throughout the week, but I had that spray on me. But spray it real, 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 real good. Like, cause it's gonna stay, but you wanna make sure while you're doing this, you're also um, using the dryer like how we did with the tracks. You wanna make sure that as you spray, you dry, let it get hard, then spray some more and keep wrapping. And just wrap that little knot around itself until um, it's really tiny. And that's pretty much how you make that little knot at the top of the ponytail. Alrighty, and now we're all done. Um, my edges aren't done just yet because this is the day before my birthday, so I just wanted to wait off on the styling. But y'all, you can get as freaky as you want with this style. This hair that I did use, you can add heat to it. I did intend on adding some wand curls to it, but I just kind of let it be what it was. But this is the final result. I hope you all enjoy, and I will see you all in the next video.